You are on mute. Classic. So <laughs> welcome everyone. Uh, this is the uh, second ever Gimlet Office Hours live edition. I have a guest today, which, uh, who is Lajos. Hello, Lajos. Hi, everyone. I'm going to, hello. <laughs> I'm going to give an intro about you very shortly. I just want to say a few words, uh, which is uh, today is going to be about one chart. And uh, we are going to use one chart. We are going to fork one chart and have a use case. Uh, like uh, if you would be a, pri uh, a company who want to use one chart in a private setting. So not the public one chart, but one chart plus some features. And we are going to uh, explore that option with Lajos, who is, uh, who is uh, first of all, a one chart user, I think. That is the most important for this stream, but otherwise he's uh, he's a consultant, a trainer, and he also uh, a DockerCon community leader awarded person. So uh, welcome, Lajos, and uh, please say a few words about uh, who are you and what do you do these days. I think you you said the most important stuff, and yeah, these days I'm doing trainings, Kubernetes and Docker, obviously, and also sometimes like consulting, small consulting jobs. That's it. Cool, cool. And you are very active in the Budapest Docker community, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to give back the community to have them learn Docker, Kubernetes, and all the container stuff. Cool, cool. I think you guys are doing a very awesome job. I often go there to actually learn new stuff, like last time the Container D uh, episode and the Nix thing was very uh eye-opening for me so so thanks for uh the concise and uh, very nice intro to nix you're welcome cool so so last week i was uh showcasing uh gimlet the gimlet manifest file and also one chart and how these two can be used together uh, what workflows you can have and so on and i think where i left off it was uh uh, at a place where you know you can use the public one chart to a certain extent it will cover like the your common use cases like the most common 20 30 use cases uh, but at some point you will need to have something which is uh, very unique or custom to your company and uh, i promised you uh listeners that uh in this episode we are going to explore that possibility and uh since Lajos is a one chart user i think the first ever one chart user uh i think we started talking about one chart back in last october or november and uh thanks for for uh filing some bug reports and so on so far and uh could you just briefly tell us about how you use one chart and uh what uh, things are interesting for you yeah for sure so my selling point about one chart is that I, myself, when, I, when I'm facing like, okay, now I have an application I would like to deploy it into Kubernetes, usually you have the choice whether you want to use Helm or Customize. These are the two mostly used options. Now the thing is that although you cannot go around not using Helm because most of the charts, if you want to deploy, let's say, Prometheus or Loki or something, infrastructure reading into your cluster, most of the time you get a Helm chart. So you have to use a Helm chart. On the other hand, uh, if you have to author a Helm chart, that's a completely different thing. And although I'm quite uh, used to see Go templates, but I know that at the first time it can be quite daunting. And also you have to look up all the time the documentation. So it, it's not that obvious. So therefore, in the past, I was most of the time trying to use customize for my applications because it's sort of like much str more straightforward. There's, these, those are just plain YAML files, what you already know. So I was tended to... to prefer customize over Helm because of the authoring overhead. But once I found uh, one chart, I realized, that, oh, okay, now I can use all the nice features of Helm without actually creating a Helm chart. So that was my main drive to, to use Helm chart. Gotcha. So you basically use for use it for like demoing purposes and uh, one-off deployments and uh, basically just to make your ad hoc workflow uh, faster 
Yeah, exactly. I, I'm doing a lot of training. So usually what we want to do, okay, let's just quickly deploy something to the cluster. We already have a Docker image we want to use. And then the usual stuff, we want to create a deployment, scale it up maybe. Then we want to create a, a, a service for it. Maybe the service should be node port or cluster IP. Then let's add uh, maybe uh, availability checks to the mix. And then usually we realize, okay, we want to do a 12 factor, applica 12 factor application. So let's use config maps instead of hard coded environment variables and then expose it to the world with an ingress. And if I want to do it with Ham, I have to create like, I don't know, four or five different, uh, different resources. And then the usual stuff, if you want to open up those YAML files and edit them, it's always just a, a good chance that you will mess up the indentation and then everything breaks. So what is a better way to, to do this sort of stuff, which is, as you mentioned it, 80% of the time, it's always the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You are you are saying the right things. I, I love hearing. Uh, <laughs> you know, my motivation was quite similar. And uh, in the meantime, I, I think we got our first comment from from Karoy, who is the Budapest uh, community leader. So thanks for the thumbs up. And uh, now I could showcase this awesome feature of showing comments <laughs> on screen. So please, if you are around, please just send us a comment, be that encouragement or criticism, whatever you want to add to the show. I think I will just uh, show it on screen. Cool. Uh, thanks for coming live on, on, on this uh, occasion with me. I briefly talked to you about what I'd like to do with you on this, but you also, you know, you, you just uh, took a leap of faith. So uh, I think what we have agreed on is that uh, uh, let's uh, play a scenario uh, where there is one chart, there are the features, and of course you can always file uh, uh, issues, pull requests, whatnot. There will be a moment when I will say that, hey, this feature just doesn't fit uh, the general uh, audience of this chart. You have to have your own version. You can fork it. It's not that difficult to do it. And this not that difficult part, I'd like to actually see it in action. So maybe if we fork one chart together on this uh, stream and uh, we add a new feature and we just uh, explore the workflow, how would that work uh, in your case? Would that mm -hmm. work for you? Yeah, sure. Awesome. So. Uh, I think if you share your screen, or I could share my screen as well if you, I'm not, you're not comfortable with that, but if you share your screen, I think we can just go through the process and uh, add some new cool feature, which uh, we still have to come up with. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I just did share my screen. Should we start maybe just to use one chart at all? Yeah, yeah, of course. I okay. think that's a good, good first step. So yeah. just just to show it a, a more uh, real life scenario, I deleted the one chart repository from my Helm repositories. So let's just st start with adding it back again. So Helm repo add name is one chart one chart, and the URL is if I'm not mistaken HD. TBS. I'm not a good typer. <laughs> chart dot one chart dot dev. Okay. I think you did this more time than I did, so I think uh, it, it will be just fine. Maybe just could you make your font one step larger? I think because the the YouTube stream is just seven twenty p. It's not full HD, so maybe two, yeah. For some reason, it's getting slower. I'm not sure okay. if it has anything to do with the, the screen sharing. But anyway, okay, okay. so it, it, it is working. And now, as usual, if I want to use the one chant, let's just pretend I have no idea how to use it. So I'm just going to onechart.dev. And yeah, mm -hmm. 
why is it that slow? I also see that uh, your connection may be uh, slower. It could be my connection as well, but uh, but I'm, I'm definitely seeing some some slowness on the screen. All right, I think I lost Lyos for a for a brief period of time. Maybe he reconnects his Wi-Fi. And I have a crying baby in the background, so everything which a live stream can <laughs> can offer you, you are getting that right now. But uh, just a recap so far, Lajos has been uh, uh, using one chart uh, in his training life. Uh, he's a trainer, and uh, basically he has a lot of ad hoc use cases of making new deployments, uh, where he meets services and you know just showcasing different uh, features of of Kubernetes and, and he founds one chart very handy for this use case. And we have uh, dived into um, forking one chart, adding a new feature and see how that would fit uh, the workflow of uh, one chart users. I am catching glimpses of uh, his screen and uh, this doesn't look too good. But if it doesn't work, we can always just retry at another or at a later time today. That's all right. In the meantime, maybe I, I can showcase some, uh, some development news uh, regarding Gimlet. Um, I think Lyos will come back shortly. So uh, why don't I just share my screen? So sharing my screen, the entire one. So in the meantime, I actually want to showcase something uh, which is under development. So under GitHub, uh, there is Gimlet.io, which is the main organization repo. And uh, you can see some uh, recent activity on three projects. So one chart, we have been talking about that Gimlet CLI is getting new stuff every day, but Gimlet D is the new server-side component of Gimlet, where I'm actually uh, uh, developing a new uh, pull request. It's in draft status. Uh, releases uh, is going to land uh, in Gimlet. Now, what's that? I think I'm going to uh, show you that uh, at a later uh, episode. But if you just want to follow, uh, you know, the source code changes, you want to get a, um, um, you want to get the heartbeat of the project. You can definitely follow my work. And I, I also, I think I, I made a release of Gimlet CLI. Uh, there are some new features which have been recently. Um, made into the uh, v05 gimlet cli so if you don't have 05 then i think you should update it so what's up with layers he's completely gone and that's all right however uh i think i will wait two more minutes and uh if he doesn't come back i think i will just uh uh call it a day and maybe retry it another time and as for other items for for this stream i actually don't have anything else so i think i will just stop the stream and uh, we will be right back when uh, Lajos has a stable connection so uh yeah see you soon <laughs>